Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising. Monthly tarot reading for September 2019, and bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are going to jump right into it. Okay, so the first card which stands for the topic, the very theme of your month is going to be the Nine of Wands, followed by the next one which stands for the uh, peripheral activities that uh, you can go for throughout the month, that is going to be the Queen of Swords. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the challenge that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. The, la the next one, it is about the positive aspect of the month here, that is going to be the uh, Six of Wands. And then the last one that we do have, it is the guidance that Tara is offering to you. That is going to be the Ace of Cups. A uh, very mixed reading, you know, uh, the month is going to be very dappled with activities. Uh, mixed reading in a sense that there are going to be a lot of things going, um, uh, um, going on uh, around you, into your love life, into your career as well. Not necessarily bad things, all right? Your worries, however, are going to be, can you sort everything out, okay? Can you be um, as good as you can in everything, uh, in every of all these activities? Now, the thing is that you do can, but before we go and see how this plays out, let me run the cards down one more time. So the first one is going to be, once again, the very topic, the theme of your month, that is the Nine of Wands, followed by the next one, which is the uh, peripheral activities that you can go for should you decide to, that is going to be the Queen of Swords. Afterwards, we do have the Nine of Swords, which is the challenges that you need to overcome here. Afterwards, we do have the Six of Wands, which is the positive aspect. And the final one, that is going to be the Ace of Cups, which stands for the Guidance. All right, so Nine of Wands. Well, Nine of Wands, it is a, um, a car that can be taken in a few ways, especially when it comes to topic in a team. It's uh, really about... Um, adaptability in a sense of that, uh, well, it's difficult to describe it. Uh, just let me gather my thoughts, guys. Um, so for once, the nine of wands here points that throughout the month, you are going to, you are going to be very um, accurate with uh, foreseeing what can go wrong. And for that reason, it does look like that you are going to either hold down yourself or kind of like stop yourself for a second to readjust, you know, your strategy or you are going to simply uh, maneuver it out. So pretty much with this card, it does look like that you are very safe and secure from failure throughout the month should you listen to your instincts and should you be patient with the situation. Additionally to that, the Nine of, the nine of Wands, it's a fantastic card when you want to change something, uh, something minor, not your entire 
entire life but for example you want to change a certain habit of yours you want to renovate your home you want to change something uh, into your career or how you uh, of your performance you know or how you deal stuff it's about changing of a routine some conscious changes that you can do so you can make your life easier additionally to that the nine of wands could represent also a the binding in between two individuals or rather like in between two forces that is well described in a thought tarot okay because there the card is a bit different <clears throat> uh, and it has a little bit of a different uh, meaning but i do take the meaning of all three three original creeds okay the reader weight the thought and the reader so it's not like the meaning but let's say the directions so it could also represent that finally at the end you know uh, should you be single and craving for love you may find someone that could match certain uh, some of your criteria. okay i say some this isn't a perfection here but you can settle around a specific you know specific ground the accompanied card of the nine of wands is going to be the um, <clears throat> high priestess the formation it is a active uh, enemies that we do have so the months uh, with the high priestess here there is um, nothing that you have to think over any longer i mean the time for deliberation it's over and now you know you are finding yourself at the very last push the last line the the the, the culmination you know of the endeavor that you are trying to push forward and sitting in the shade hoping that things are going to happen miraculously is not the standpoint you, you want to be with you want to be around you want to take a participation you want to exert your opinion exert your skills into it so you can make difference so you can make a, a change because with these two cards although the first um <clears throat> The rest of the uh, of the directions that I mentioned for the nine of wands could be in present. This is the most strongest when it comes to a conscious changes, you know, with your daily routine, with the way how you do things so you can make things much more easier and avoid disasters as well. Or kind of like traverse disasters into something positive. So the peripheral activity is here on the Queen of uh, the Queen of Swords. So we do have person, but I need one more card so I can... Um, so I can talk a little bit more for it because it may be many, many things, all right? And we do have the Hermit. So we do have active enemies here into this position. Um, that is uh, where you, are, you use this person or rather like this person here of the Queen of Swords. It's offering to let's say manage things for you that is the peripheral activities that you don't have to attend to everything all right you don't have to um how can i place it you don't have to be in the center of every single small things that you have into your life and definitely there is here a, a person who is willing to lighten your burden i would say as a peripheral activity comes around is because you can say okay or you may say no you know i prefer to for me to deal with them now <clears throat> additionally to that with these uh two cards you can use this person to have a, a very sound conversations with it because with the hermit card it does look like that uh, there are some unnecessary uh, chores that you are attending into and uh, deliberating with this person queen of swords will allow you to see that and very easily and painlessly detach yourself from those chores the next card here it is about the challenges and that is the nine of swords so we are talking about responsibilities here and facing up the um the fear of repercussions okay that could be a, a bit challenging and uh, challenging to a point of where you may be uh, <clears throat> a bit scared that if you are um, inactive or in other words patient you may lose the right moment okay or, or or for example if you make certain changes into your behavior or into your makeup you know or into how you uh, how you perform into relationship or into your career you are going to uh, basically destroy everything that is not going to happen it is very important here with this card to recognize the people are with you because of who you are right if they don't like you for who you are then probably that thing have is it wasn't meant to be additionally to that with the nine of swords it's very important to finally overcome a certain threshold where for example you are afraid to divulge a specific opinion into your partner or you are afraid to ask for a promotion or 
to ask for a raise and all these kind of stuff should you be afraid to do so this fear is going to haunt you forever and you need to overcome it you need to face it and you need to face the consequences of it which ultimately are going to be into your favor the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, <clears throat> king of uh, wands and really you you are uh, absolutely thinking about the worst that can happen that it, it's not going to happen. I mean, your ambition is feeding up those fears that should you be, for example, denied of a promotion or of a uh, raise, this is going to be the end of the world here, that your ambition ends and you don't have any more the, the, the determination and the positive outlook as well to transform your ideas into a, a powerful actions. Now, while you may get denied, you know, uh, the job that you're working or the company that you're working at is not the last company in, in the world you know even if your uh, wife or your husband or your boyfriend or a girlfriend is a bit mad at you at the information that you divulge ultimately they have to make a peace with it should you should they want to be with you um <clears throat> you know for who you are otherwise you are just only torment uh, to tormenting yourself and this torment has to end here into the month of september now the next one uh, it is about the positive aspect and this is the six of wands so peak of experience is what you're gonna have i mean usually the six of wands points to a, a great moment of uh, conquest not conquest in the sense of that you are going to uh, achieve a significant breakthrough with whatever you do throughout the month and that is very important to use the momentum of these breakthroughs to make the things aligned exactly the way you want with these small changes so <clears throat> just to give you an example here you reach a significant milestone and a breakthrough in a project well that is the change this is when you make the change all right this is where you say this is when you say well i made this thing to happen so now it's time you say to your boss and now it's time for you to appreciate that to recognize it you know and to give me the reward appropriate for it so this is how you make the change i mean you need to support your um demand for these readaptations with the right um with the right conditions and the right conditions are going to be entirely based on your performance and should you not slack with your performance triumph here is uh, is simply inevitable because you're going to be recognized you're going to be rewarded for it and as well you're going to be praised for it but the thing is that it, the, the most beautiful thing is that it doesn't have to end here right because should you capitalize on it there is so much more than you can go for in this position the accompanied card is the magician and it, it, it doesn't get better than that, guys. We do have a active friends here. You do have the skills. You do have the knowledge. You do have the iron will. You know, you do have the communicational skills to ask for what you want and what you want should be shall, shall be given. All right. But um, like I said, there is the right time, the right conditions for it. And as well, um, it needs to be executed properly, which you definitely can throughout the month. And the last one that we do have for you, uh, it is the Ace of Cups. That is the guidance. And the Ace of Cups here points that you should not dwell, all right, into things that you cannot make any difference into. As a matter of fact, the Ace of Cups here points that when you align your environment, your daily routine with, uh, how can I place it, with a glance upon the future, many plights that you dwell on are going to simply stop existing they will they will completely lose difference uh they will completely lose uh, uh, how can i place it? influence and they will make no difference any longer they will make any difference no longer and uh now you are going to start feeling that you are kind of like opening up that that you do now have a so much more to work with additionally to that the ace of cups here points that there will be a lot of uh, like like said these peak of experiences but also these peak of experiences are going to be very very exhilarating they're going to be very happy coincidences that are going to transcend your reality into something very positive positive. and what is the guidance here well experiencing it all right experiencing experience the love of life because it does look like that the, the, the life is going to simply lay off the entire fistfuls of, of love over you guys and <clears throat> if you are dwelt into the doom and gloom from the past nor you will be able to uh, make the necessary adaptations 
in regards to this overflowing joy, nor you will be able to experience and achieve those breakthroughs and milestones stone, that are given to you to do so throughout the month. The accompanied card here, it is the Knights of Pentacles, the formation, it is a, a passive friends, and uh, you also need to start thinking of how you can cash into all that, all right? So let's say you already have your promotion or your boss submit to raise your salary. You need to think of what happens next, all right? You should not settle into this thing. Just on the contrary, you need to <clears throat> convert these new circumstances, this momentum, this, this push into very consistent and uh, systemized action toward a fulcrum that you want. Very important. So um, that being said, you should not forget what you want from life because for what it seems, it will be a big jump into in this direction. Are you going to achieve it throughout the month? Unlikely because for what it seems, you are not even halfway through yet, but it's a, a pretty damn good start. It is a pretty, pretty good start here that you are going, going to make into the month of um, September. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly, uh, monthly, excuse me, tarot reading. It's just, I make so much, so much weekly tarot readings. That it's just, you know, something that I say without thinking. But anyway, so this was your monthly tarot reading for September 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.